Hello everyone, this is Flying Flapper. I hope you have been keeping safe and well through these troubled times and uh, welcome to this uh, long awaited video where we're in Italy uh, for a track guide around Monza. Now this is one of the fastest circuits on the GT Sport roster. It's the No Chicane variant which is pretty much the same as the Monza Grand Prix circuit but without that dangerous death chicane at the uh, start of the lap so it's track distance is 3.6 miles or 5.793 kilometers nine corners all in all the balance of power is turned on because this is the daily race time trial and uh, the tires you'll be using is the racing hard tires now we're using the group x cars in the form of the gran turismo Red Bull X2014 Junior car. It's a, a 2 litre max power of 246 brake horsepower. It's a mid engined rear drive car and it's only 550 kilograms. Uh, now, this is produced from Adrian Newey uh, of a concept car initially. Uh, whether or not it'll actually uh, come to form in real life, I really don't know. But it's a, a lot of fun to drive and a very high downforce car. So anyway, with all that said, let's get straight into this Monza guide. So to start off this flying lap, you wanna make sure that you get a great exit out of the last turn to set you up for a very fast sector one. Even an extra one or two miles per hour really does make a difference here. So um, as we power down the straight, you want to take uh, the inside line for Curva Grande and um, as we approach Chicane 1 you want to be looking out for this uh, little bit of uh, concrete patch on the right hand side brake hard and turn in to this first part of the chicane but don't be too greedy because that will result in a penalty and then on the second part this is the safe line of taking this uh, second part of the chicane but if you go over the sausage curb it's uh, the most riskiest but it's the fastest way hit it wrong and you'll end up in the uh, gravel trap um, cut it too much re results in a penalty but if you nail it you're going to get an extra three temps on your lap so coming up to lesmo one you want to look for this orange part of the barrier on the left hand side slightest dab of the brakes turn the car in and floor it on the exit grazing the curb on the left hand side for lesmo 2 you want to look for this 50 yard board again a little dab of the brakes turn the car in go over the curb and floor it on the exit but do expect quite a bit of oversteer from the car so uh, you have been warned so down the straight uh, we're coming up to a, the ascari chicane there's two areas that you can actually break for this corner so you want to break just after the 100 yard board or look out for this shadow just in front of you break and then turn in again don't be too greedy on the curb because going over the rumble strips will unsettle the car no end uh, as you power out of a scarring so going down the back straight we're leading up to the final corner of the lap the parabolica you want to be breaking just before this 50 yard board and as you turn the car in, you want to keep a tight line, be patient on the throttle, then floor it down to the outside, keeping inside the white line. Some people do actually go onto the green AstroTurf, but I felt that this was the quicker line to finish the lap with a 1 minute 39.691. So how does that affect the leaderboards? Well, on the world leaderboards we are 241st which I was absolutely delighted with and also 166th in the EMEA region and the top 1.4% in Europe so looking at the very top guys we have ERM Quinton with a 138.2 a good 1.4 seconds quicker than myself now I'm going to be doing a side-by-side -side comparison between my lap and VQS Rima who was initially number one spot at the time of recording. So apologies for Quinton, must have been a very late entry. So 
Without further ado, let's have a look at both laps together and we'll see the difference visually. So on this uh, side by side comparison, you can see that v VQS Rima is at the top and myself at the bottom. And I've already noticed that he's got slightly more speed than me. And we're only talking about half a mile per hour or something like that. But he obviously got a better exit out the final turn of the last lap. Um, but as we uh, come across the line to end sector one, you'll see that he is only 51 thousandth of a second in front of me. So we are neck and neck at this stage. But uh, as we go through the chicane, he absolutely nails this like a boss. Uh, and I'm, I'm pretty sure he's gained at least three or four tenths of a second on me from that chicane alone. And then as you can see, uh, with Lesmo 1 and Lesmo 2, he's taken that to absolute perfection, which probably did gain him a, a good couple of tenths there as well. So um, as you can see, um, the gap between us, you can see visually, is quite big already. As we uh, come across the line to finish sector two, he has made eight tenths of a second on sector two alone, eight and a half tenths of a second overall. And uh, coming out of Ascari Chicane now, again, took that absolutely masterfully. And that, that gap is ever extending. It's gone past the bridge already. <laughs> and uh, going into the last turn of the lap, the Parabolica, I noticed that it did extend the uh, track limits a little bit there going over the uh, AstroTurf. Not sure if that gains him or not. But as we cross the line, he gets a 138.3. Uh, I'm a good 1.3 seconds behind him and lost half a second on Sector 3 as well. But uh, again, guys, I was really happy with that lap. So this concludes my video for today. Um, I've got to say a big apology for releasing this content uh, this week instead of last week. Uh, I did have uh, events conspire against me, unfortunately. Um, I bought a new PC that uh, arrived uh, very late last week. Uh, also, I've been learning some new, uh, this new Filmora 9 video editing software. Uh, and thirdly, work commitments just got in the way as well. So. Uh, so yeah, unfortunately it has come out late, but I hope you still enjoyed the video and uh, Hopefully this uh, combination will come again sometime later in the year uh, Whether it's a, a daily event or a FI, FIA event um, But we'll see But uh, yeah guys if you have enjoyed the video, please do hit that like button subscribe for more content I have got uh, uh, footage of um, races that I did like before and during the pandemic so look out for that uh, and also guys um, I just want to give a big shout out to Kirif K as well if you haven't uh, seen him um, please do check him out I'll put the link in the uh, description below but he's a very fast guy um, and uh, you know he's got karting experience and uh, he also sounds like Super GT as well so if if that doesn't inspire you to subscribe to him, I don't know what will. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all keep safe and well. And hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.